Hi, my name is Jason Kraft. I'm one of the owners here at eBike Kit. You're in our, our uh, Newportville warehouse, our headquarters, and uh, we're just here with Electric Bike Report. We're showing Pete around, showing him a little bit about what we do. So the first thing what you can see behind me, these are racks that we've had made, we've made ourselves. Um, and they hold all of our motors, our hub motors. All of the wheels are built to order. So when you order a, a wheel, we're gonna pull a motor off these racks and uh, we're gonna build it into a wheel. Um, right now, you can see it's a little bit bare. We're expecting a delivery. So in a few days, there will be uh, about a thousand motors here. It's gonna be really full. They're not all gonna fit on these racks. Here we have the 350 watt gear. We have the rears on this side. On this side, we have the fronts. A little bit more over here, we have the direct drive motors. We have the fronts. And again, we have the rears. And then we also have tricycle motors, which are a little bit different, also a direct drive, but some differences for the tricycles. Um, behind me here is James, and uh, he's hard at work with uh, one of our lacing machines here. And he's doing what used to take us 40 minutes to do to prep a new wheel. He's doing that in about six minutes per wheel. So he's able to turn out anywhere between you know, 30 and 50 wheels a day when we need them. Um, every time he pushes that in, he gets a spoke shooting through the hose here on hydraulic and it's shooting through and it's actually torquing right on to the, to the end of the spokes. We use all stainless steel butted spokes and brass nipples and uh, this machine really saves us a lot of time. Um, after the wheels are built by, uh, by James, after they're laced, that's the first part of it, they hang on these racks here. And uh, we keep a bunch pre-built and they hang on these racks here and then they're ready for the final assembly. Um, building a wheel is really artwork, so we have some excellent wheel builders here. Alec, who we're going to meet in a second, he's actually uh, the best. Um, all of our wheels go out of here true, round, and perfectly tensioned. So um, here's where they hang until they're getting ready to be finished. The last part of finishing takes anywhere between 5 and 15 minutes. Um, this is Alec over here. He's hard at work. He's our best wheel builder. He does all the custom wheels for those who require it. And in these two stands, we finish every single wheel. It's finished right here. Um, after it's finished, we move over. If you want to turn right around, and we have the, the finished racks here. So the wheels that are complete. Um, they're, like I said, they're a little bit barren right now. Uh, and we, we always seem to be playing catch up. Uh, we take care. We like to take care of our customers immediately. So there really isn't much of a break these days, especially with the onset of summer, to uh, to get caught up. And there's more inventory coming in, so we're very busy. But that's the wheel building process. So here's where we do our batteries. We do a lot of SLA batteries. Um, they are a lot more popular than you would think. Uh, we build all the batteries in-house. We bring in cells locally from a good company in New York. They're all Rhino brand cells. So we bring in the cells in different sizes. We have 9 amp hour and 12 amp hour, and we build 36 volt and 48 volt packs with those cells. We put the cells together, we reinforce them with uh, masking tape underneath. Then uh, we use the soldering machines here and we solder all the wiring in. We give you the proprietary discharge and the XLR charging. Um, we also do a lot of custom stuff and customers need it, you know, based on what they ask for. But every, ba every battery here, the SLA batteries are professionally soldered and then they're shrink wrapped with the, um, with the heavy duty shrink. So they stay in and when they're finished, they go back here. And we have a really quick turnover. We operate really tight. So batteries stay fresh. They come in, they get made, they go out to customers. There's no sitting around, there's no lag time. There's no giant inventory of cells that are gonna go stale. Um, so they come over here and these batteries go on automatically on charging. They're charged to full, they're maintained even for the short period that they're here. And then they go out the door. They go into a box, they go into our um, proprietary canvas battery bags meant for the rear rack and that's how they ship to our customers. So we're here at eBuy Kit. I'm just gonna show you what you get when you get a kit from us. Um, we've got two kits on the table here and all the components laid out. One of our kits is the eBuy Kit. That's for two-wheeled bikes, um, tandem three-wheelers, um, anything that's comfortable doing 20 miles an hour or 28 miles an hour. That's the e-bike kit. Then we have the e-trike kit. That's for the sit-up adult tricycles only, okay? That's the front wheel kit for the adult tricycles. So if you come over here for the e-bike kit, Every kit's got a manual, full color, shows you all, all, everything you need to know, including the setup instructions for your LCD, which is right here, which is really the console for controlling everything. Um, all of our e-bike kits, no matter which motor you get, are gonna be controlled with this console. You're gonna set that up for the motor type, the battery type, the wheel size. It's gonna tell you everything you need to know, including, most importantly, your battery level. 
Um, the 2013 e-bike kit has a 12 FET controller, 22 and a half amp peaks. Uh, so fully enclosed here, fully waterproof. Um, this is turned on again right here by your LCD. Uh, here's the motor wire that's going to come with your kit that's going to run between your controller and up to your hub motor. Uh, this is a four-way cable. This cable is going to run from your brain here, which is your controller, up to the front. It's going to tie into your Tektro e-brakes, which are going to cut power to the motor and gate when engaged. These are going to replace your existing brake handles, uh, high-end Tektro brakes. Those are going to plug into here, into your four-way. And then you have two throttles. You're only going to use one. Um, depending on how you change gears, that's going to decide which throttle you use. You're going to use the one that works best for your bike. Um, so that's going to connect into here. Uh, back here we have the two motors that we have available right now, which are the 500 watt direct drive. This is going to be basically the heavy duty. Okay, anything over 200 pounds, anything where you want the kit to do more of the work than your legs. Um, if you're more of a cyclist, you plan on pedaling a lot, you want to give a lot more input, you want a lighter duty application, that's going to be your geared motor, under 200 pounds, light duty. So those two motors work with these kit components, completely modular, troubleshooting on the LCD if there's ever a problem, and modular so you can replace any part that may be faulty if anything goes wrong. Um, every kit comes with a battery wire harness if you don't get our battery. If you do get our battery, you're going to get the battery and that wire harness is going to be used here. Okay, And that's also going to plug into your controller. So that's the e-bike kit. Both kits, the e-bike kit and the e-trike kit, get the small parts bag. Inside the small parts bag, we're going to give you everything you need so there's no trips to the hardware store. Um, you're going to get zip ties, some high quality zip ties. They won't break. They're not from China. Okay, These are high quality zip ties. I know that doesn't sound important, but it can be annoying when you're trying to put your cables on your bike and zip ties break. So you're going to get 15 of those. You're going to get some business cards because you're definitely going to want to refer our product to your friends. Um, you're going to get a torque arm here that's used for uh, adding some additional security to the axle into the dropout of your forks or of the rear of your bike. Um, you're going to get these small parts. These are called sea washers. They're unique to two electric bikes. They will go over the hub motor axle, which is a little bit thicker than a normal bicycle axle, and they're used to fill the indents on quick release dropouts. Another safety feature, whenever you do an electric bike conversion, you want to make sure that your wheel is flush, that you're using the right hardware, that you're using a torque arm, that everything is flush and tight and safe. Okay, so you get all those small parts and a couple of wrenches, one for your uh, brake handles and then one for your throttles to secure those on the handlebars. And again, that comes with both the e-trike kit and the e-bike kit. We move over to here, this is the e-bike kit. The e-bike kit has a different motor. It's actually got a different connector on it too. So it's gonna have a different motor cable, motor cable running from your hub motor wheel back to your brain here, which is your controller. The controller for the tricycle kit is actually this one. It's a nine fit controller, it's 36 volt only, as opposed to the e-bike kit controller, which is 36 and 48. The e-trike kit is 36 volt only. It's got the toggle switch in the back for the on off. There's no fancy LCD here. The LCD here is actually an LED, which is a set of lights, which is, it's really a voltmeter for a 36 volt battery. And that's your battery indicator. There's four lights that are gonna light up and tell you when your battery is draining down or when it's completely full. You have the e-brakes here as well. These e-brakes are actually whooshing. Um, they're a different kind. They're not the high-end Tektro brakes, but they are longer. These are for tricycles. The left here and soon to be the right will actually have a locking mechanism. So this left is for a lock, which can be important, um, especially to seniors on the sit-up adult tricycles. Your four-way cable here has a couple of dongles coming out, but the one now that it's permanent is the throttle. You don't get both throttles with the tricycle because tricycle is going to have the split twist, and in this case, it's going to have the forward and reverse. All of the e-trike kits do 12 miles an hour forward and do four miles an hour reverse, which is very unique for a tricycle conversion kit. Uh, I believe it's the only one out there that works that way. So I wanna show you something that we're really proud of. Um, over the past six years, whenever we can, we try to bring things in-house. We try to do things locally. We used to bring in a lot of cardboard and a lot of styrofoam from China in containers. And what we realized was that the shipping cost, if you added that in, it was costing us a lot to pollute the environment. It was really bad and we, we just didn't like doing it. So we have developed our own boxes with a local company here, Trenton Corrugate, Corrugated, about 20 minutes away in Trenton, New Jersey. Um, we have handles in the boxes. We have our logo on the boxes with the new website ebikekit.com without the hyphen. And what we've done that's really interesting, if you can look in the box, is we were able to work with Trenton Corrugated and create these inserts that we can fold up. One goes on the bottom, one goes on the top. 
they hold a wheel perfectly in place in the box so when you get your wheel it comes in the box here and it's right here in these cutouts then what's cool is that not only does it hold the wheel and securely hold the wheel for transit but if you look in here underneath we ship a lot of SLA the SLA battery can go in the same box now get strapped in securely under here and it won't interfere with the with the wheel during transit so we're able to give you everything in one package and FedEx was was great to work with also giving us some uh, special incentives on the higher volume because it is a better box but it's better for the customer it's better for the environment we're pretty proud of the, the design it's one of a kind Okay, here we are outside the bike kit uh, headquarters here, and we have a bunch of bikes. Uh, we heard Pete and Court were coming to visit, so we just uh, converted everything in the shop. So you can see a full line of bikes, and I'm just going to talk briefly about, uh, about a few of them. So the first two here, right here we have a Miami Sun tricycle from J&B Importers. Um, they were kind enough to give us this bike for today. Um, this is this has the e-trike kit on it which is our tricycle specific conversion kit it's got a lot of differences that make it perfect for adult upright tricycles um, it's got the heavy duty pulling front motor limited top speed of 12 miles an hour forward it's also got reverse um, which is four miles an hour in reverse so 12 forward four in reverse we've got a 36 volt 9 SLA battery in our bag in the back and this is really for seniors which we found to be the biggest uh, biggest market for us at least um, this is uh, senior mobility at its finest and it's most affordable um, if you're talking about a rascal scooter or a golf cart this is really ideal above both of those solutions um, right next to it we have the worksman cycles one of our favorite customers here worksman cycles out of ozone park new york also has the same kind of tricycle kit on it the tricycle kit the e-trike kit is adaptable to any upright tricycle and again it's all about senior mobility this one actually folds in half it's the porta trike version can fit in the back of an suv you take the handlebars off in the seat and go right there it's really easily portable we have a folding prototype there we're going to skip over. We have a Hard Rock Specialized. Any of these bikes can be converted with the e-bike kit. We're actually, what we have here is the All Cell um, Summit Pack, which we'll be de debuting in a few months, hopefully. Um, this is a water bottle pack. It's brand new, not available yet, but we'll keep you posted on that. That bike has a rear 350 on it. This one, also uh, donated by JMB out of their Westchester warehouse just a couple of days ago. We converted it with the e-bike kit. Um, you can see we have the rear 500 watt with the 7 speed and we have the upgrade to the tow peak bag in the back which has an SLA pack in there. 36 or 48 volts is available. And this is our latest e-bike kit with the very nice LCD dash you can see right there, brand new. The Tektro e-brakes with cutoffs here. This turned into a really nice bike. We were able to put this together in under an hour and uh, it's, it's really an affordable and uh, high value e-bike here we have what my kids call the uh, my batman bike <laughs> which is a a, a full-size um, men's uh, trek cruiser it's been converted it actually has the single speed back here something we're pretty proud of we actually machine these ourselves we have a single speed spacer it's a one-of-a-kind spacer which can convert single speeds and have the chain line up parallel to the front crank um, that's a, a pretty cool thing so this has the 2013 on there also with the with the 2013 LCD again 36 or 48 volts just a really nice cruiser you, we're using the one brake since there's only one brake on here we always have the option with the e-brakes we have the Tektro on the left hand side this here is uh, is a tandem this is a relatively affordable tandem out of Walmart for like $250 um, if you're a family guy if you're a dad that, that wants to get out there maybe you're not in the best shape and you have a couple of kids this is the bike this is the bike for you uh, you and your significant other on here you can do you can go a long way with this one this is a lot of fun um, I've taken this on the trails with my family just a ton of fun we actually have the 350 back there it means you have to pedal a little bit more and then that's 36 volts here we have some interesting things that uh, we just kind of have at the shop some things we see we just can't help from buying them the quintessential stingray spoiler chopper this is the adult version of the stingray chopper there were only uh, 2,000 of this model made, and we actually have two of them. This one over here, we've converted the rear wheel to a rear direct drive, and uh, we do have plans to, to auction this at Interbike next year, give all the proceeds to the Wounded Warrior Foundation. So we're working on that. These are some cool bikes. Point being, you can convert any bike with the e-bike kit and the e-trike kit. I want to come back 
If you don't mind, we're going to come over here because these guys are visiting as a pair today. And this is Court Rye of electricbikereview.com. Hey, how's it going? Court was just out riding one of our most mm, flavorful bikes. Yeah. Notorious, maybe. <laughs> Notorious. This bike here has, has a, a huge amount of views. If you look up Electric Chopper on YouTube, you'll see this. Um, this is the Schwinn Stingray, the kids' version, which is fun. A lot of guys convert these and just have fun with them. It doesn't have any pedals. It's uh, 36 volts right now, and uh, you look really funny riding it, so yeah, get ready to be laughed at. But it is fun. So that's, uh, that's the array of bikes we set up today for Electric Bike Report and electricbikereview.com, and uh, you can convert your own, have fun with your own bike. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by the E-Bike Kid headquarters. Uh, we're signing out from here. Really want to thank uh, Electric Bike Report and Pete for coming by. Uh, glad you guys could take a look around. Happy to show you what we've got going on. Any additional information, we're always available on the web at ebikekit.com without the hyphen. Visit our new website. Uh, sign up for the newsletter letter to get sales and uh, promotional materials. And check out the blog. We appreciate it. See you soon.